Okay, we've got something a little bit different uh, for you to look at today on the bench. This is um, a radio I've had in from uh, one of my followers from the channel. Um, as far as I'm aware, the issue is the um, band selector is jumping uh, when it's turned through the bands and it's uh, gone a bit erratic. So uh, the theory is it needs cleaning, but um, it could be a little bit deeper than that. So uh, I've got it in just to have a look at it. Um, fingers crossed, it is just cleaning. But there is a few other little jobs that um, this radio can benefit from. Uh, some components in it that, uh, especially in the power supply, that can fail with this sort of age. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to uh, find myself an aerial to plug in and um, then we'll give it a switch on. Okay, so I've just popped, um, popped my long wire in the uh, coax connection for a minute, just to test it. So I'm going to power it up with my um, Variac isolation transformer. Just in case anything has gone wrong with it in transit, I'm sure it hasn't. Let's just pull the voltage up. It's got a voltage selector at the back and that is set to 240 volts. I did check that first before I uh, plugged it in. Let's pop the power on it. Okay. So there we are. Okay, yeah, it is um it's definitely jumping all over the place as I'm turning through the band um And switch. So yeah. So that signal generator is on somewhere. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is nowhere near what it should be. So, uh, looking at the band selector itself, let's get in a bit closer. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, so, <clears throat> at the moment, we're showing uh, 14 megahertz on the band selector, but we've got 1.6 coming up in the screen. VFO appears to be uh, turn it OK. If you can see the screen at the same time. Just ease up a little bit. There we go. OK, so as I'm turning this, uh, let's start from 1. So that, I think, should be about 1 megahertz. It's showing 26. 27, 28, 29, and 1. So it might just be a case of loosening this switch off, moving it back into the correct position. So uh, that might be um, something worth looking at. I think this one's got the memory uh, module on the back, yeah, as for the looks of it. Uh, let's see if we can find something to tune to. Let's go a bit higher up in the bands. Let me have a think. Let's see if we can get seven legs up here somewhere. Let's jump all over the shop. So it's going from 6 to 
17. station. Okay, uh, continuing on with this uh, FRG 7700. Um, just on one, well a couple of things really. First of all, um, this control here now. What I've done, I've loosened the grub screw and aligned the um, bands correctly. So as you can see from the display, we're on zero and the band uh, selector is reading zero, which is bang on. Apologies for the noise in the background, but um, I'm uh, just printing off the, the massive service manual for this. So that coincides with the band scale. So let's go to one megahertz again, fine. Two, three, four, five, all good. There we go, and it's six megahertz. What's happening with this? It seems to be switching up to about 17 megs and then settling back down to the frequency that it's on. Um, it could be that this control is dirty that's going to be my first attack but it's possible there's some capacitors that are not working correctly in there also there's a couple uh, transistors and an IC in this circuit that could be dodgy so let's uh, try seven again at the moment's fine eight mags nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, bit more, 15, 16, now that's jumped up to 17 now, so 16 is misbehaving as well, Let's see if it will uh, settle back down, it doesn't look like it, wiggle it about a bit. Okay, that's not, definitely not um, showing 16 megs, 17, no, it still sounds 17, 1, 2, 8, 18, jumping about a bit, it's just on the edge of the band, 19, 30, well 29, that's the end of the band there. Then we go go to sort of it jumps really through the amateur bands now. So three megs, seven, so again we're on 17, but then it goes back to crack one, 10, 14, 18, 21, 24, 28, and 29. So yeah, there's some strange anomalies with this control. So um, I say originally it was playing up six, it's playing up on seven, six, seven, and eight before, but it's <laughs> it now seems to be higher up the band. Okay. So there is uh, there is a chance that the um, VFO needs aligning because um, you've got to set these up at different voltages for different bands. That could be the issue. But first of all, I'm going to get this apart and um, we'll see if we can uh, get any switch cleaner in there. See if that helps. <laughs> 